and I'm back with another tutorial with another crazy one. Um, yeah, this is definitely a look you can wear for grocery shopping, picking up your kids, going, I don't know, to a country club. This look brings me back to when I just started doing makeup tutorials on YouTube, like Namisa 2010-2011. Colorful, crazy, over the top. You know, I felt like I needed to do more of these looks again. Um, also because that's probably why you started following me in the first place, because of my dramatic, colorful looks. Or maybe because of my wig reviews back in the day. <laughs> and if you want to know how I did this look, then you know what you gotta do. Of course, I started out with my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. I applied it all over my lid, in my crease, on my brow bone, and underneath my lower lash line. Then, to give my makeup look a sharp edge, so to say, I just used a regular piece of tape, as you can see right here. Next up, I'm going to use the Freedom London Medium O2 Pro Contour Kit, and I'm going to use the darkest color right there. And with an angled eyeliner brush, I'm going to sketch out the shape of my cut crease, so to say. So you can use whatever color you want to use. I just find that with these simple medium brown tones, sort of say, it's easier to cover them up. Next, I'm going to use a matte black eyeshadow by Diamond FX, and I'm going to apply that on the outer corner of my cut crease, as you can see right here. And just take your time when it comes to blending, make sure you apply enough of the eyeshadow that, so that it's really opaque. And uh, yeah, for this look, I'm not gonna go over that um, line where I drew my cut crease, if you get what I mean. Next up, I'm going to use the eyeshadow called Poison Plum, and of course it's by Sugar Pill Cosmetics. And this is the color I'm going to put next to that black eyeshadow. And again, I'm first applying it onto my lid, and then I'm softly mixing it together with that black to make it an even gradient effect. The eyeshadow I'm going to use next is called Mochi, and of course it's by Sugar Pill Cosmetics again. And I'm just going to apply that eyeshadow on my tear duct area, so to say. And I'm doing the same thing as I did with the previous eyeshadows. I'm just first applying it, and then I'm mixing it together with the previous eyeshadow to create an even blended effect. Just so you don't see any harsh lines. Now I'm taking that matte black eyeshadow again, and this time I'm using it to retrace that cut crease shape to make it more intense. And after I've done that, I'm going to take another eyeshadow by Sugar Pill Cosmetics called Velocity. And of course, I'm going to apply that above the cut crease. So pretty much on top of that line I drew before, as you can see right here. And again, take your time, blend it out evenly or as much as you want. Just make sure you don't apply that eyeshadow onto your lid colors, so to say. Now I'm taking Mochi eyeshadow again and I'm applying that right above Velocity eyeshadow to also create a gradient effect with the, well not the crease color, above the crease colors. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So now of course I'm going to use my Catrice liquid liner in Dating Joe Black and I'm just going to create a winged eyeliner first and as you can see I'm using that tape as my guideline. Now, after I created that winged eyeliner, I'm using that same liquid liner to retrace that cut crease to make it more intense because that eyeshadow was not intense enough for me. And again, just take your time with this because this can go wrong very easily. Trust me, I know. <laughs> now it's time to remove the tape. There you go. And now I'm taking Poison Plum eyeshadow again, and this time I'm applying it right underneath my lower lash line, as you can see right here. Just smudge it out. Make it as intense as you want. After that, I'm taking Velocity eyeshadow, and I'm just mixing that together with Poison Plum, just to create a fun little mixture, and to also connect it to the top part of my eye. After that, I'm applying Mochi eyeshadow underneath, Again, to match it to the top part of my eye. I thought it would look fun. And to darken it up a little bit, I'm going to use the Dare Real Push Up Liner <laughs> in black by uh, Benefit. And I'm applying that on my lower waterline. This product is actually very comfortable on my lower waterline. I'm just saying. Anyway, now I'm taking that matte black eyeshadow again and I'm darkening up my under eye area even more, just to make the look more dramatic. Now, of course, I'm going to apply my Lily Lashes in the style Opulence uh, off-camera. 
I have a direct video listed below in the information box uh, just so you can see how I apply my false lashes. But yeah, that is it. Let's continue with the rest of my face. So as you can see, I've already done my foundation. You know the drill by now. If I don't include it in this tutorial or in any tutorial for that matter, uh, I have a separate video listed below uh, or somewhere here in the screen. So you can click on it and see what my current foundation routine is. So now I'm going to warm up or bronze up my face. I'm going to use these two photochromatic pressed powders by It's Your Face Cosmetics. So I'm going to use Cocoa Bean and Coffee House and I'm just going to mix them together. And then of course I'm going to apply them on the perimeter of my face. And now, of course, to contour, I'm going to use my 9C Morphe Contour and Highlight Kit. I mean, do I even need to say which shade I use? Obviously, is this one. So if you want to know more information about my contouring and highlighting, it's listed below in the information box. And now for my blush, I'm going to use this NYX Cosmetics Ombre Blush. It's called Code Breaker. I'm just going to take the tiniest bit because this blush, again, it's super duper pigmented. So, you know, take it down. <laughs> don't go ham. Don't go... Just don't go ham. And now for my highlight, I'm going to use a Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Um, actually, ooh, can you see that? <laughs> the Gleam Glow Kit. And I'm first going to apply Mimosa. And after that, I'm going to apply Heart Candy on top of it. And I actually already applied it onto my nose when I was doing this side. But just for the heck of it, I'm just going to do it again. Okay, so I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with a Milani Amor Metallics Lip Cream. This one is called Materialistic. So, let's see. So that was it for the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, obviously. So what I forgot to mention is that I actually customized the lashes uh, I showed you a little back in this video. Um, I took some pieces of some regular uh, 301 drag queen style lashes. So I took some of those, let's say spikes, <laughs> spikes in the lashes. I cut them out, so little pieces of them and I stuck them onto um, the lashes I pretty much showed you in the video. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done looks like these and I actually really enjoy doing them. So just let me know if you want to see more colorful looks uh, in the future. <laughs> so if you want to follow me on my social media pages, then just type in Makeup by Namaisa on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat? Periscope? <laughs> I forgot. I, <laughs> I legit forgot which platforms I'm on. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for your support, for your love. I, I just... I don't know what to say. It always mesmerizes me when you guys comment on my videos or on my social media posts. I just want to say I love you guys. So yeah, until my next video. Bye. And we'll grow in number, fueled by them to see the horizon, turn us to thousands, and we'll grow.